excitement in a good way because they're graduating and uh, depression, of course, because my last week of being a UH warrior. So hopefully we end this week out in a W. Uh, I'm a little lost and confused and I don't know how fast this season or how my career here went. Seems like just yesterday I was a freshman and now we're coming into my last week of practice as a warrior. So it's uh, it went by real quick. I don't know. It kind of it's been a bit of a whirlwind actually. I mean, from the whole experience of you know getting getting picked up by Hawaii and coming across here from a different country, it's uh, I always refer to people. I say it's it's a dream that I never really dreamed about doing. Um, you know, now, then I've really understood what it what it's involved and and what I've what I've actually accomplished. It's it sort of it means a lot more to me now than it did when I started. I guess I'm excited to move on, you know, but yeah, at the same time, still kind of. You know, wishing I maybe I had a year or two left to play, just because I enjoy the the facilities and the people here and the relationships I've made and um, just the day-to-day -day grind and stuff of just being a UH warrior. Something that I always wanted to do when I was young, and now that it's coming to an end, it's kind of it's kind of tough. Uh, I think all the fall camps that I've been through, I mean, here I think I've been through five fall camps, my red shirt year and all the way to this, this year, just all the team bonding, I guess, we give all the different players, I mean, I've seen players come and go, guys have been here, I think only three or four of us have been here since I've been here, and that's been the whole time with me, it was Haku, Hano, and Maya, uh, other than that, I've seen guys come for a year and leave, two years and leave, three years and leave, so it's been, it's been fun. I uh, feel we pulled through and as a D-line we did good, but as a group, whole defense and as a team, a little disappointed in what happened, but I'm always going to be glad that I'm a warrior and nothing's ever going to change that. I mean, there's a lot of good games, I guess, but I mean, just being a part of a, a WAC championship and being a part of teams that uh, dealt with like adversity is the biggest thing that sticks out and just being a part of it and being a part of a WAC championship was memorable. Yeah, I think I think my first game, on my very first game, um, we played Central Arkansas my freshman year. Um, that was that was really exciting for me. But uh, I guess I guess this year for me, um, coming back after that three-game suspension was um, it was huge for me. I was I, I really set myself up for the whole summer to, to play this season for my final year, and I was really looking forward to it. And I put all the hard work in necessary to really show off my my um, my talents to to the scouts and try and get the NFL and sort of when. Um, when the setback happened, I was, yeah, it crushed me almost, and sort of come back uh, at BYU for that uh, the fourth game of the season was, you know, it was, it was huge for me, and um, I'd, I'd mentally prepared myself for that, and I had supported the coaches and, and the rest of the boys, and I, I think that's what's going to stand out the most. I would say just right after practice or before practice, kicking in the locker room with. The D line, just cracking jokes, teasing each other, and just making each other laugh after a hard, rough practice, and uh, just cruising with the D line. I'm gonna miss playing in front of the stands, my family, you know. Hopefully, I go on to bigger, better things, but I'm always gonna miss playing in front of my family, you know. Just balling out and hearing the Warrior fans just cheering. Just uh, being able to do what you love or you you grew up loving to do, you know, playing sports, and that was like my life for the last however many years I've been playing since I was a little kid, so it's, it's going to be a different, it's going to be change, and sometimes I know I'm going to think like instead of wanting to go to work, I'd rather, you know, show up to lifting and a meeting or a practice, you know. When the team's not doing well, then, then it's the punter's job to come in and, and play, play a lot of snaps, and you know, I, I take my job really seriously. What I do, it's it's what I do for a living. It's what I'm planning on doing for a living. So, you know, it, it's good that the boy the boys love it. Um, I know that a lot of them have said, you know, you know, you make the punting game fun. That people actually want to try and watch that. But so, you know, as as far as we've had a disappointing season, as far as wins go, um, you know, I think we can still take a lot out of it. And and I think the team's definitely going to build on in the next few years. You know, the, the ultimate dream is to play in the NFL now. Um, I think I've realised that over the last four years is something that you know I really do want to do. Um, perhaps not as much my first year or two years I came in and trying to get used to the game and the environment and everything going on, but 
I think definitely now it's, uh, it's, it's because it's become real. Um, it's, it's really exciting for me and I'm going to train as hard as I can and, and put my best foot forward and, and hopefully go in the draft and, and um, next year I'll be playing on Sundays. I've been growing up here, I've uh, watched UH football, I've always thought like man it'd be, it'd be pretty cool to play in front of my family as a college uh, athlete and uh, playing at Kahuku, you know, I, I love seeing my family after the game, going home and spending time with them, and just talking about the game. And, I get to do that here, you know, I mean, after the UH games, I go see my family in the parking lot, or they're potlucking, they're all eating, so I get to hang out with them, and then just knowing that I get to go home after the game and see family instead of going home to an empty dorm room and having to talk to people on the phone, so it was great to see my family. I haven't, you know, I haven't really thought about it like that, I just, you know, I just enjoy playing both sports, and I'm uh, grateful to have the opportunity to come here and do it at home, and being able to play on the basketball team with Coach Gibb, and the football team with Coach Mack and Coach Chow is uh, thankful for that, for them giving me the opportunity to do so, you know. Even though my, my, my role isn't as big as other guys, you know, I don't play as much, but I took a lot of pride in myself that when they do call my number and it is my time to go on the field, I'm going to take it very serious and do the best I can. I mean, I, I was, I've been real grateful. I always tell everybody this, you know, to have my brother here before, you know, I mean, he kind of almost laid out the red carpet for me when I walked in. People expected a lot of me. People, people, that, people who had already respected me before they got to know me just because they knew what a great guy he was and how highly he talks to people. And so, I mean, it was a, it was a good time and I, I, I can honestly say I wouldn't rather play at any other school in the nation besides University of Hawaii.